Hello everybody, it's Professor Parrish, and this is week 13, which is getting us very close to the end of the semester. Uh, we've got a couple of things to kind of push us towards that, and I want to talk about those this week. So the first thing, obviously, is what's due this week. So I'm going to go to coursework and go down here to week 13. Uh, week 13 and week 14, we are going to be reading Sherlock Holmes, The Adventure of the Speckled Band. Maybe you read this in high school. I know that the high school I was at, that they read this story. Um, if you have, then this should be a fairly easy uh, assignment. But we are going to be reviewing it during this week and the next week. So um, this week you only have two assignments. However, I do want to go ahead, I prefaced this last week, uh, the vocabulary <laughs> for this story is quite vast. And the reason for that is that um, Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the author, uses a large amount of vocabulary words that we are probably or perhaps not used to. So, yeah, there's 48 of these vocabulary words. Um, it may take you a little bit to get through this, which is why I said last week you can go ahead and work ahead if you want. But, um, to reflect on that, this assignment is worth quite a bit of points. Um, so do not feel like you are doing this assignment in vain. You will be rewarded <laughs> with a lot of points for doing the vocabulary this week, but it may take you a while. So just um, pace yourself through it. There's a lot of vocabulary that's very um, akin to the early 1900s when this was written. So there's likely to be words that we're not familiar with in this vocabulary assignment. Um, but that is due Sunday. The other thing is our final reading response, our final re article review. Um, it'll be the last one we do this semester, which is a uh, good and bad. I think everybody's done well on these assignments. Those of you that have done them, um, just identifying the parts of an article. When you get to English 121, 122, you're going to be asked to just know what these parts are. So I want to make sure that you can identify them now so that when your instructor's asking you, hey, give me your points, give me your thesis, you're going to know what that is. So this will be the last one of these assignments. Um, both of these are due by Sunday. So you have all week to work on them. Uh, looking ahead, there are the questions drop box for the Sherlock Holmes story is very similar to what we're used to. And then there is a discussion forum for week 14. And then finally, we only have a couple weeks left after that. We will have an extra credit assignment. Get on that if you can. Um, there will be a unit test. We will have a final story in Dropbox. Definitely make sure that you watch the week 16 lecture video because I'm going to go over that pretty thorough. And then we'll have a few things left before finals week. So our semester is starting to, it, we're right at the top. Sherlock Holmes is right at the top of the class, and then we're going to start to go downhill after this. So um, if you have any questions about the vocabulary or the article review, please let me know. Um, those of you that have been doing assignments in the class and submitting them on time, you all have been doing a great job. So we just have to keep moving forward to finish out the rest of the class. As I've said in weeks before, you are more than welcome to always work ahead. You can work ahead on any of these upcoming assignments um, except for finals week. We have to wait until May 5th to start that assignment. But once May 5th happens, um, we'll just have the final video and the final exam. So that shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I love Sherlock Holmes. I love all the adaptations over the years that have been done with him. Um, this story is pretty old fashioned, but it's one of the classic stories about him. And it's one that I feel is not one we've probably heard before. A lot of the modern movie adaptations focus on Moriarty or focus on other storylines with Sherlock. This one's relatively um, unadapted, which I like. So I hope you all enjoy the story. And next week we'll have the discussion forum and all that. So um, we'll talk more about it then. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great week. Um, have fun with the story. Good luck with the vocabulary and article review, and I will talk to you all soon.